what's going on everybody welcome back to another video welcome to episode 7 of the wealth journey series so we're going to jump straight into it this is exactly where i put my money where i get paid and this is my payday routine so what we're going to do is we're going to jump straight into some screenshots so what you're looking at right now that is my 401k that i'm actively contributing to every single month and eight percent of my paychecks go into that and of course that is before they even get taxed. So I never even missed that money to begin with. And as you can see now, it's at $84,081.36. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to see that hit the six figure mark, hopefully toward the end of the year. And as some of you may know, I do have two 401ks, but this is the only one right now that I'm putting money towards. So that's why I'm not even covering the other one in this video. So I'm gonna show you everywhere else I put my money, but first I wanna show you a quick message from Uncle Dave. This was a profound message and it got me really thinking about my finances, especially since the video I posted last week when I admitted to overspending in a certain category, DoorDash. I guarantee you this, 95% of you listening to me right now do not do a unique written budget every month unique to that month almost no one does those that do however find all kinds of money that's being lost short sweet and to the point but the reason i wanted to really share that message with you is because i needed to apply that to my life i went a good three months without really tracking my expenses feeling like oh i'm making good money feeling like i can just kind of spend blindly and not really have any big consequences and while that was true i looked at how much I was spending on DoorDash. And one month was 600, another month was 900. And I was like, holy crap. I know that I can multiply that money if I put it into the proper investments, which I'm gonna actually be breaking down and showing you in this video. But I really got to thinking about my future and where I wanna go and where I want my finances to be. So with this month in particular, I started to section out my goals a little differently. So for example, usually I have my bank account automated to send $500 to my savings account immediately once I get paid. But I ended up throwing a little extra in there because I was looking at my goals and I was like, okay. In the past two net worth update videos I've had, I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna hit my goal of $2,000 in my savings account. And even though that may not sound like a lot to everybody to want to have in, in my savings account, it's for a very intentional reason. A thousand in my savings account has always been a pretty easy feat for me to do. But I've had so many different priorities where I wanna put a lot of money in my emergency fund and then a lot of money into investments and a lot of money into my savings. But I had to humble myself and look at my, take a real good look at my finances and realize I don't have the cash assets to just be having all the money I want in all the categories I want. So I had to really think about how I prioritize my money and where I want it to go and when I want it to go there. So for example, I was feeding my emergency fund in my savings account at the same time. And while my emergency fund grew, my savings account was a lot more easily accessible. And so I found myself taking money from it to pay for some things that I didn't need. And no, it wasn't DoorDash. But I am guilty of that too. When I come on this channel and say, don't be taking money out of your savings account, I'm not just saying it for my health or because it sounds good. I'm saying it because it's something that I've done time and time again. And there's been months and even years where I've been better and I haven't done those things. But then there's been days and weeks and months where I'm like, let me take a few dollars from my savings account. Ain't nobody gonna know about it. But I'm just expressing to you that I'm 100% not perfect. And ain't shame to say it either. So I've changed my priorities. And the exact number that I put in my savings account, just in case anyone's curious, is $769. Why? Because I want to reach that goal of $2,000 without having to take money out of there to pay for something else that I didn't plan or account for. And that brings me to my next point. Another place my money goes to when I get paid, and, and this is specific to the first paycheck of the month, purely because this is when I have the most money at my disposal. The second part of the month, you know what I'm saying, is the 30th and then rent's about to be due in a day or two. And I don't have as much money at my disposal. So I usually put money in my Roth IRA during the first part of the month. So I want to show you exactly what I'm invested in. So you're gonna see this on the screen too. I'm recording my screen right now. What I'm looking at is my Roth IRA with M1 Finance. If you want access to M1 Finance, you can click the link in the description and you do get some perks from clicking through my link. But anyway, if you check this out, I just have four things in there, but it's diversified. So I have Apple, Microsoft, VOO, and VTI. And I've read a lot of books, watched a lot of videos. I ended up getting this strategy from a particular guy named Ian Dunlap. Very, very 
gifted and talented investor. So I figured I would put some of my wealth into the assets that he recommends and it's been doing well. It's up 36.8%. So I'm pretty happy about it. Um, by the time this video is posted, this will be even more because the $500 this month hasn't gone in yet because it's a Saturday as I'm recording this video. So on Monday or whatever day, that's when the money is actually going to go into the account. I do want to make this point though. If you do get a Roth IRA, like let's say you're following my advice and you're watching this channel and you get a Roth IRA, that money can't just sit. So what I mean by that is once you send the money there, don't just let it sit there. So if you look at the bottom of the screen where it says $12.31, it says buying power. And that $12.31, that's nothing but a dividend that I got a few days ago from some of my assets. But if you were to send $500 there, for example, you have to actually hit the buy button and buy whichever assets you're looking at buying in order for it to grow in value. Otherwise, it's just going to stay and it's going to be no better than a savings account. So I just wanted to point that out there. But I also want to share some history with you. So what I'm looking at right now is the funding history page. So I started this in 2021 and I really didn't take it that serious. So the first year I put $1,945 in. The second year I didn't put any money in. The third year I put $2,000 in. And this year I'm up to $3,000 and that's because I've just been doing $500 a month just so I could be consistent because I figured consistency over a long term would end up to more money in my Roth IRA. But I want to tell you this, the max for this year as indicated by these bars up here is seven thousand dollars so after looking at what dave ramsey was saying and and looking at this month in particular because sure i have a budgeting tracker and, and everything where there's like a master spreadsheet and all these beautiful charts and everything and it's elaborate and it has all my bills up there and when i can expect to have the bills but even still with all that sometimes it's good to take a pen and paper and just Write out what your blind spots are. You might have higher to pay on your credit card than you think. You might have to pay for more gas than you think. Little things can add up quite a bit. And so what I'm saying is when I was looking at this, I was like, okay, I'm pacing to hit 6,000 by the end of the year because for the longest, that's what the max was that you can put in your Roth IRA. But I was like, no, if I'm going to get to 7,000, what do I need to do? I need to put in $700 for the rest of the year, every single month to get to 7,000 and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I know that was a long explanation, but I wanted to let you know how I think when it comes to my money and where I'm putting it at. And even though I'm at a grand total of about just under $9,000 and it doesn't look like a lot, you have to really think about how that is going to grow over the years and years and years. And right now I'm going very heavy on my Roth IRA because after you hit a certain income, you can't contribute as much. And then as you hit another type of income, you just can't contribute to your Roth IRA at all. And I want to take advantage of the fact that once you put your money in there and it grows, once you take it out, it's tax free. Now, I also want to show you one more thing because these are all areas where I'm putting my money when I get paid to make it grow. Of course, we can go over the expense reports and all that stuff in other episodes. In this episode, I want you to see how I plan with my money and how I make it grow. So, of course, saving, that's more for like a safety net. But let's get out of saving and let's get out of even retirement real quick. Let's just look at individual investing that I'm doing on my own outside of my 401k, outside of my Roth IRA. So again, recording my screen right now, this is the power of investing. So what you're looking at right here is I'm up almost $20,000, which is a 143.21% increase of the principal. So at this point, I put in less money than I've gained. And it's a very nice thing to see. So it's currently worth $33,769.61. And this is just, this video right here is just so you can get a, a direct look into exactly what I'm invested in. And you can see all of them are up. So I'm invested in VTI, Google, NVIDIA, which is my prize possession right now, <laughs> Microsoft, and Apple. And NVIDIA is a lot of what's carrying my portfolio right now. Like everything is up, like VTI is up 39%, Google's up 85%, Microsoft's up 69%, and Apple's up 57%. These are all above average when it comes to their increase. When you consider that I only started investing in this around like 2020, didn't know what the heck I was doing when it came to investing, but eventually I learned and I caught on. So what I'm saying is NVIDIA ended up being 614 percent that's how much it gained so that by itself has gained me twelve thousand two hundred and eighty eight dollars which is amazing so if anyone's ever curious 
about investing or you get tired or annoyed when I talk about investing, I'm saying it because, yeah, it might seem incremental here and there, but if you really look at investing as a whole and you look at how much stocks increase over time, you would be mind blown. Apple, for example, is up over a million percent since its IPO, which stands for initial public offering. That is crazy. We're not talking about it went up a million dollars. No, no, no. It went up a million and something percent. So I don't know what number that is, but to put it in perspective, if something goes up 100%, it has doubled in price. So a million percent, ridiculous. Anyway, that's what I do with my money. That is my payday routine for the first part of the month. And then I'll make another one for the second part of the month. And I'll show you every single month where my money's going, what I'm invested in and things like that. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I have decided not to contribute to my emergency fund this month purely because I want to, con I want to focus on hitting my goal with my regular savings account and then leave that at a halt and then keep contributing to my emergency fund. Anyway, I hope you got some value out of this video and got some ideas of where you could put your money and that you at least look at this and you're like, man, investing has some power because it really, really does. And I can't wait to keep building on it. So when you look at my net worth videos, there's more behind the scenes than just me reporting out numbers. Like there was a lot of thought that went into what I'm going to invest in, how many shares I'm going to buy. And there was a little bit of luck that played into this as well, because I didn't know Nvidia was just going to explode out of nowhere, but it did. And I'm just going to keep holding on to it because I don't think it's going to go down at least anytime soon. But anyway, that was the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. I will see you in the next video.